Welcome, Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. Let's sing our official mail song because it's mail time. Oh, that's right. Okay. I, I want, want to open mail because it's time, time to open mail. <laughs> See? It's perfect. <laughs> Uh, this first one is comes from DSC Associate, and uh, from we, got, we got a few that are DSC Do So Confidently YouTube channel. Yeah, this one says uh, hashtag DS Raid. So DSC Raid. So it's like a it's like a raid. So, uh, Peter, do you know what a raid is? Yeah. I mean, at, the, you're never, at the end of a you're never on the live stream, stream, so I wouldn't. You, you can know, raid stream. another stream. Right, and then everyone hashtags the same thing, and then the streamer knows that this came from a different channel, and they're like, "Oh, it's so cool!" So this is almost like a mail raid, I think, yeah. is what maybe this is. Snail mail raid. Uh, I'm really a snail this mail raid. This must have been announced days ago. <laughs> I'm so excited though. I'm gonna go ahead and open this one first. It's got bubble wrap in it, so it makes me think of bubble wrap. You go ahead. D while you're opening that. Yeah. DSC stands for Do So Confidently, which is the name of a YouTube channel of a good friend of ours who does things and she does them so confidently. <laughs> Do you know why the channel's called that? Yeah, it's about, it's all about She's all about being trying new out there. No, it's all about trying new things. Well, and as for a she gamer like, channel, she does try new things. Tries, yeah, gamer We're stuff, like, but she's like she takes the camera out. instruments. Yeah, and she looks at like guitar and stuff. And she looked at like Something. monuments in a in a local. You're yeah. supposed to be opening. Oh, oh, oh while we're well, it's open now. Here's the problem: is whenever Ted's like, I need some time to well, talk about to something, decide, and I'm I start to talking about something, he stops doing the thing he's doing to talk with me about it. I'm trying to decide if there's more in there or not. First of all, <laughs> this has got bubble wrap on it. I want to interrupt your story and talk about this for just my a second. Story, so in college... Oh, it doesn't... There we go, there's one. In college, a friend of mine was like, I wonder what these sound like up close. And so he went up to my ear and he popped one. And it, like, hurt and my ear was ringing like crazy. And I, it's because it, it's such a... Wuss. No, it's because it's like <laughs> so drastically changing the air pressure. I suppose in a moment, yeah, and no, that's that what makes your sense. ear is. It's, it's like a puff air pressure on yeah. your drum. Yeah, it's not drum Don't puff. do that. Don't put it to your ear and go, huh? Yeah. Okay. You just the letter first. To try it though, there is a. Oh. There is a. A oh, sock. A sock. Can I? Can I? Can I hold it? Ooh. Phew! It's hot in here. Come on now, y'all. Take me out of that gosh darn box. Oh, 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 there's something in the sock. Hold on. Oh, okay. Alrighty, listen carefully. Oh, I get it. The, 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 this letter is talking. Oh, it's hot in here. Come on, take me out of that gosh darn box. All right, listen careful. One of yous take you's hand and stuck it in my hole down yonder there somewhere. That's it. Get your hand up there. Stuff a little orange tip between your fingers. <laughs> Good, now flap your top fingers and your thumb. That's it. You brought me to life! <gasps> oh, he's got a hat! Hello! <laughs> I'm a little hat <laughs> Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> dear him dear, Ted and Peter from the basement No, do that fancy writing you do like when you sent these Yankees a letter before. Chi, what are you doing? No, don't really write down every word I say. Stop that, you hear? Okay, so this is guy. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, you need to, you need to read this as him. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, well, maybe do it in a way that where he actually enunciates his words. Okay. Well, my mission's over with. Y'all don't plan to send me back to Memphis. Oh no, no, you gotta start here. How yeah. do you? Oh. How do you do? You said Merry Christmas. No, I meant there. Okay. Sorry, I was wrong. Start there. How to do, y'all? It's me, Sock Rat. Tease. Socrates. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it until I said it out loud because it's spelled sock rat tease. You know, like that greasy fee loser fur. <laughs> Philosopher. <laughs> that means I'm smart. I'm here on a special mission, an adventure, a quest. You might even call it an excursion. That's a big word. <laughs> <laughs> I've been recruited by a special task force called Do So Confidently. <laughs> Commander Christina Klein, bless her heart, has sent me and other packages with an urgent message. Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, my mission's over with. If y'all don't plan to send me back to Memphis, guess I'm living here. 
Dude, I'm so excited. We have a sock puppet in the basement. I love puppets so much. <laughs> nice basement you got here. These chairs are nice. Hey, glasses. Is this your house or is it the lumberjacks? <laughs> it don't matter. As long as I get a roof over my head. Hey, now how about I take y'all hunting some elk by the river? <laughs> Y'all do got elks and rivers in this town, don't you? <laughs> Elk River, Minnesota, five five three three. Oh, zero. Never mind. We'll sort that out later. For now, where's my bed? I'm so tired. <laughs> oh yeah, one more thing. Chi wanted to say something. All right, I'll read for Chi. <clears throat> hey, Ted and Peter, I know I just sent you a letter. It feels weird to be sending another this soon, but Christina just had to get the community to do this. I just, of course, but I wish you and your families a very lovely Christmas. We'll make sure to raise a glass of apple juice mm -hmm. to our favorite Minnesotans on Navidad. Navidad. Also, I know, I know, more Mario Maker, but in honor of King of Cards coming out, I made two Shovel Knight-themed courses. Ooh. Rebuilt the Explodatorium as best as I could using Link as the blue-clad knight. The level in the game was just too long, so I had to make two separate courses to accommodate all the digging the level had to offer. Sweet. Cool. Uh, not required, but it'd be more fun if you played... Co-op. In co-op, just like your Shovel Knight series, it'd make good clickbait for Peter to play when he makes the thumbnail Shovel Knight in Mario Maker? Question mark, question mark, question mark, That's exclamation definitely. point, exclamation point. It's definitely what I'm going to do. <laughs> awesome. And then uh, some course IDs. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Have a Merry Christmas, and God bless Chi Panda and Socrates. Socrates! <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweet. Why don't you open a letter and give me Socrates, because okay. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job voicing him. That's funny. All right. Is this uh, a used sock? I, I'm a little afraid. I don't think so. It looks like it looks like a new sock. This comes to us from Alex and probably the whole family in Washington. We know you well. And it says hashtag DSC Raid. And it's addressed, of course, to the basement. P.O. Box 95, Elk River, Minnesota, 55330. You want to send us mail? That's where it goes. That's where it goes! <laughs> did, you, did you make the sock puppet smile at all? Peter, look. <laughs> okay, we got Hello. Got some socks there. Who some s more socks? Oh my goodness. This is a whole bunch of letters. Peter and Ted. Whoa. Merry Christmas from the Gorods. We hope December brings you times of fun, food, family, and focus on God's love for all humanity. We hope for that too. And so far, that I'd say has December has delivered on that. I included a couple of our Christmas letters, one for each family. Oh. A drawing from Amy, my youngest, and a sock from each one of us, with a, each with a special gift inside. Stockings! I get it! <laughs> a Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a do so confidently raid! Hashtag. <laughs> Until next time, Alex and Emma and Lacey and Amy. Aw. P.S. To translate what is written on the socks. Green with yellow. Ooh. From Amy. Hi, Ted and Peter, and Merry Christmas. Inside the sock, she drew a stinky face <laughs> and put a glow in the dark star from her room. Oh, my wife and I have glow in the dark stars that we had on the ceiling in our room in our last house. We have not oh, installed those in this house. Oh my gosh, yet. thank you so much. This is awesome. That's it's super cute. <laughs> drew a stinky face on the sock. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Amy. If there's anywhere for a stinky face, it's definitely on a sock. <laughs> All right, Green with Stars. I love okay. her YouTube channel. Emma, inside are other stockings from her Lego advent calendar. A what Lego a special advent calendar? thing. I'll open the sock. Emma. Thank you. Nobody has to send us any part of their advent calendar if they don't want to. Or any of their socks. But if you do, you might make us cry. Which is a real good thing. Lego advent calendar. That's a good idea. It is a I good like idea. the chocolate ones, but when they're done, all they are is just a cardboard calendar. All right. Now you have... <gasps> These are cool! Those are cool. So, they're little stockings. Hold on, let me put it back together here. Little stockings. Peter and Ted. Oh, Lego stockings. <laughs> These are so amazing. Thank you. Yeah, we gotta hang those up. Check out this the basement art. That is a green 
piece of furniture with a D-pad and some buttons on it. It says yeah, the basement. Yeah, that's the basement couch. And on the back it says to the basement from Amy. And there's a, pic a picture of Amy on there. Aww. Amy, you look just like my daughter Naomi. I'm guessing you probably look a little different in real life. All right, here's a sock Great that drawing. has... Hot cocoa on it. <laughs> Hot cocoa. Sock. Does it say lace? Lacy. It's from Lacy. Lacy. That makes sense. That would make sense. And there's something in here. Oh. What? <laughs> what? Ooh. Luck of the Irish scratch off game. Ooh. Wow. We could win ten grand. What, what if we, oh, this is a common thing. Some families, you know, put, will put like little stocking, uh, little, put little things. You know, anytime I go to a white elephant gift exchange and the limit yeah. is $10, I usually buy $10 worth of scratch off tickets and for people real? go nuts over it. And like, I want that one. And they trade, trade, trade for unopened I suppose because it's like, it could be garbage, but it also could right. be like a thousand dollars. Hey, so if one of the, we should each scratch one. And if one of them wins the, that goes in the basement account. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a great idea. Okay. It's not gambling because we didn't buy it. <laughs> right. So it's not illegal. Legal and to, our channel is not uh, primarily for channel. children. <laughs> and then here, <laughs> if giving a bad gift, dot, 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 do, do so, so confidently. confidently. <laughs> it's got a, oh, it's got a letter on this side. Dear Peter and Ted, may your Christmas be a socky one. <laughs> <laughs> may, may your Christmas not be a socky oh. one. Oh. The West Coast car odds. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot more sense. And that looks like dad's sock. <laughs> this looks like a used sock. <laughs> what if it's just like a toenail? In there? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a lump of coal. It is a lump of coal. <laughs> We've been naughty. <laughs> oh, boy. Dude, this is so awesome having stocking stuffers. This looks like one of those gag gift lumps of coal. It's not like a real lump of coal. It's All right, like the one we, they put in the stocking. And we got all. We also got Christmas letters. So one, Ted, is for you and your family. Ooh. One will be for mine and my family. And we'll probably read these to our families off camera. Yeah. And thank you so much for sending us your legit Christmas letter too. That's that feels just a little bit private. Okay. And then thank you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the one with the higher payoff there. Okay. And then oh, the, what? Okay. I want to make sure you because sometimes you can't scratch them all. Oh, right. Um, Match this, three amounts, win that amount. I think this is just... I can just scratch any. Yeah, this one I can scratch more. Okay. Match three like amounts and win that amount. Would you like an amiibo card to scratch with? Ooh, I was just going to use my fingernail, but now I'm going to use Wind Waker Link. Yeah, we're highfalutin. I'm using Breath of the Wild Bokoblin. This isn't working very well. Cherry. Cherry. Mule. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Futurama quote. It, it was a that scratch. sounds a lot like The Simpsons, where it's a scratch and sniff scratch off. <laughs> Liberty Bell, <laughs> Cherry, <laughs> Cherry, Mule. <laughs> it's totally a Simpsons one where I he's can't like, "Use this card is not working as well as a finger." One Liberty Bell, two Liberty Bells, and then huh. I mean, woohoo! Three Liberty Bells, and then a poo checks it and he says, <gasps> "A cherry." Mr. Homer, how could you? <laughs> Whoa, $10,000. No. Hey, I can't. Will you? I was just going to use my fingernail, Peter. You made me use this card. It's not working. Okay, use your fingernail. 10000 Whoa, Peter, look. Our camera lady is scratching mine. 10000 10000 If we match three like amounts, you win All that right. amount. So far, we have two. What's the other one say? 25? 10. If this is 10,000, we win $10,000, Peter. Wonder how many of these have two 10,000s printed on them. What? This can't be real. It's gotta be a joke. <laughs> Match three they're, like they're... amounts, win that amount. Did we seriously <laughs> just win $10,000? There's no way. <laughs> yes. Yes, look. No, 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 look. This is this is genius. Winning prizes of 1, 5, 25, and 50 may be claimed wherever lotto tickets are sold. Winning tickets of $100 or more must be sent by mail or in person to the Money Ferry, 123 Nowhere Drive in Make Believe Land. Oh. Valid only in your dreams. Any resemblance to a real or implied lottery ticket is what makes it fun. This ticket is for entertainment purposes only. Well, I was entertained and it was kind of fun. <laughs> You're saying the same thing. 
How much did they win? It took me this whole time to scratch on one number. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see what we didn't win with it. Well, does the back of it say one, two, three, fairy tale lane? Okay, this one's a fake too, but I want to see what we didn't win. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> That's kind of a mean gift. You got us, Gorod. I mean, I feel like if you could put this in somebody's gift and just like ruin their day, if they really, I was kind of like, there's no way, there's no way. You know what we should have done? Gosh, this is really hard to, like, to get it. We should, you you are happy that we're not reshooting the video, like pretending that it isn't unscratched and me saying like, hey guys, uh, we might have to end the channel. I don't know. We've hit some financial trouble. We're short on the mortgage. The bank says that they need $9,985 by we've just Christmas been, we've Eve. Been, we've been poor. Or they're taking our home. <laughs> they're so we need a miracle. But you know what? We're going to make this video and open the mail anyway. <laughs> and then we do go through the whole charade and be like, 5000 No! I bet this one says went up to five thousand dollars. I think it's purposefully hard to scratch too, like so it a, takes like those big candles. All right, let's let's scratch it later. We got one more piece of mail okay. to open. I bet it says five thousand in it. Yeah, All I right. bet it does too. That we'll was a great. Later. That was a great idea. Peter totally fell for it. I did. Did we just win ten thousand dollars? Well, it would have been awesome. It would have been. It really would have been. It would have been awesome. All right, we we're content. We've got enough. It's true. <clears throat> I am enough. <laughs> Listen, I we've got I'm I would I will say I would trade it all for a little more. <laughs> all right. Paper rock, we've got one more piece of mail. We're gonna paper rock scissors to see who gets open. Ooh, it. okay. Best two out of three or just like one out of one? Well a sudden death, dude. Okay, cool. Ah! <laughs> now you choose who gets to open it. I get to open it. <laughs> when you won, you chose that I would open it last <laughs> last week. Okay, this comes to us from DSC herself. Ooh. So I'm not gonna dox run. DSC open last. Open last. Well, phew. Good thing we opened it last. I'm glad that we did. Uh, okay, it's very much taped shut, so I'm just gonna open the bottom. What if it's jelly? <laughs> and what the tape is to keep it from leaking out. <laughs> just a jelly in the month club. Well, that's a gift that keeps on giving, Clark. <laughs> All right, there's there's one glob of jelly per month in this envelope. You, you just get it like a spoonful. No spoon. Spoonful of jelly. It's just in an envelope. Ooh. <clears throat> a sock. Oh. It's, it's so soft and fuzzy. Oh man, I'm always so like torn about what to look at first. Probably this one. Okay. Dear Peter and Ted, okay, this comes to us from Derpu. Okay. Uh, uh, your inspired Talunder. Derpu. Dear okay. Peter and Ted, you have been an inspiration to many and an entertainment to many more. You have given a multitude of people the chance to laugh at dumb jokes. <laughs> True. Yep. And even sparked <laughs> Chai's. Chi. The base chi panda. panda. Yeah, Chi. Chi Panda. <clears throat> it's hard to remember when it doesn't follow. When <laughs> panda, panda doesn't follow. Yeah. You. Well, Chai is usually spelled C H I A I. Yeah, that's that T. Yep. Yeah. This is not the ch the T. So, ch so I call Chai Mr. T. This is like your inner Chi. But he's Chi. <clears throat> Keep going. Your Chi. <laughs> no, let's camp on this for a minute. Okay, that's okay. a good idea. No. Well, you know, like Chai Chi is is your community it's is kind one of, of like the most Christmassy of teas. Your community is one of the best I have seen, with 100% family friendly people and interactions and many things to do. Had it not been for you, I wouldn't have made all these friends and known all these jokes. As a token of gratitude, I present to you this slidey relic. It is an heirloom passed down from generation to generation, even changing families at times. The powers of said relic are unknown, but it is, it's like the Chocobo egg. <laughs> but it is rumored to have the ability to cause utter chaos. <laughs> I entrust it to you, O wielders of laughter, in the hopes that it will never get the chance to unleash its power. Guard it with your lives. Your inspired Talunder, Derpu. Wow. Excellent. Well. Okay. And then we got this big fluffy sock that came with probably the other letter on the outside. Listen, we will put this somewhere very safe. Dude, I love this idea. Of so just, that it like, doesn't send unleash them chaos. A sock. <laughs> okay, now I think Ooh. that this sock has some value, has some sentimental here. Cause, oh. Because here are the first two words in DSC's letter Meet softy. 
<laughs> that is like really like is this this one has a name. She would like to say she has seen much. At least she's seen more than her fellow drawer mates. Really? While most of her kind spend their time stuffed somewhere, either at home in their drawer or out and about in a shoe, Softy has lived a relatively lit up life. She often gets chosen when the keeper stays in for the day. Hmm. Oh. Keeper is capitalized. Like the keeper. Yes. Her life may be simple, but her job is an important one. She is the warmer of toes. Mm. And she has done her job well and been rewarded with a front row seat to many a movie, TV, and video game session. I see. So it's like a, like you said, like a slipper. Yep. It's the one that you put on when you're at home and you're not going to go out. Mm. You're not going to put a shoe on, but you want something warm and soft and big and comfy. <laughs> That is uncomfortable almost if you stuff it into a I kind of want to get a pair of softy socks. Softy yeah. has fought hard with her partner, Fuzzy. Oh. Fought against the evil blackness of the great bath makers. <laughs> Many of her kin have disappeared into those evil contraptions depths. The laundry machines? Yes, yep. The bath makers. Yet bath after bath, Softy and Fuzzy have emerged together. Usually. Sometimes one or the other is a little late in being retrieved by the keeper, but always they are retrieved and both have been immensely grateful. The keeper approached Softy last week and told her she had a great important mission for her. <laughs> she would have to go without Fuzzy. Softy's heart hurt a little bit, no. but the keeper said this was important. She was to bring laughter to a couple of gentlemen she had seen on the TV. <laughs> Whom the keeper had grown fond of and been inspired by. She would be meeting many of her kind that were also sent out alone and for the same reason. <laughs> and together they would tell a tale of jest and gratefulness between a small community and their inspiration. So here she is, missing her mate, but happy to have such an important job and blushing as she meets the people she's seen so often on the big screen. <laughs> Hi, Softy. Oh, it's so good to meet you. <laughs> she brings Christmas love and New Year greetings. Quote, here's to the next year of videos, gaming, inspiring, and trying all the new things. Signed, DSC Christy. <laughs> Additionally, Oh, additionally. Thank you so much for the joy you bring to YouTube and for letting me be a part in helping with that. Looking forward to what the next year brings. DSC Chrissy. Thank you so much for being a part of what we're doing here. Yes. This and for this wonderful idea, socks leaving their pairs, but then all joining together. Together to make one like big sock family. A fun little group of singles, except for this big honky weirdo. <laughs> and, and the wisest sock of all. <laughs> yeah, with this. <laughs> this little hat. Where did you even get this hat? <laughs> I know, such a little hat. <laughs> <laughs> Truly a wonderful male experience. This Thank is you fantastic. For the I, I cried a little bit. Thank you for others for participating in DSC's call to action here. Absolutely. What a neat thing to be a part of, and we're just honored and humbled to be on the receiving end of such yes. a story. If you want to send us socks or anything <laughs> in the mail, as long as it's legal to mail. Yes. Uh, and you want it to show up on camera, as long as it's family friendly in ways that matter. Send us your mail at P.O. Box 95, Elk River, Minnesota 55330. You can make it out to the basement, and uh, we will see it, and we will open it, and we will look at it, and we and may even we, make a video on it. We might laugh. It. We might cry. We might hurl. Yeah. The, all those things could happen. I mean, you know, maybe even, you know, killer Russians could attack you in the middle of the night. That could happen. Probably not, though. Until next time, Basement Dwellers, we think that you are more uh, touching and melancholy beautiful the story then the, the time when all of the foot uh foot gloves gathered together in the basement in, in the, the basement, basement. <laughs> A very important part of how The Basement is able to bring you the content that we do daily is our wonderful YouTube sponsors and Patreon patrons listed on the screen now. If you would like to join this amazing group of people who are helping The Basement 
to make even more content and do even more streams, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or on the screen right now. And we'd love to have you join us in making the basement not just the friendliest place on YouTube, but the most awesome place on the planet. In our solar system. In our universe. In, in the, the basement. basement.